Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about Polkadot. And there's a new collaboration with Bizzell. Before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming video. That could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon for my Patreon member. Uh, I post a whole bunch of video about a must know indicator, about the piece of virus and all this. And also, uh, which gold and silver coin has high result value and as well as a whole bunch of other stuff and also the next chain link i also uh, post a video about the next chain link if you miss chain link that's another token is uh, very similar to chain link or the next tasos as well so if you're interested you can join my patreon group so um also if you haven't uh opened an account in gemini you can check it out and uh if you join decided to join you can click the link below so both of us will receive ten dollars of bitcoin and also ledger they have a 20 percent off right now and it's important that you put your crypto in the hardware wallet, not your token if you don't have your private key. So don't leave it in the exchange. Make sure you transfer it back to your hardware wallet. If you're interested, you can click the link below as well. So let's talk about Polkadot. So Polkadot is a new darling in 2020, right? Everybody talking about this project. Everybody has so much hype. <clears throat> I think the hype is uh, initially coming out from China and uh that is the hype coming from but uh but the thing is the founder is uh it, it used to be the founder of ethereum gavin wood right so this is another hype as well but anyway they are building on the project at this time right now they have a lot of progress and of course they are focusing on d5 decentralized finance they are not uh really i mean they are co basically they collab with a lot of other projects as well and Buzel, in case you don't know, is a, a distributed data storage system. Uh, used to be Buzel, they have their own uh, ICO back in 2017, if you still remember this project. And, and a lot of people are very interested in this project as well. And they collaborate with uh, Web3. Web3 is a foundation, is basically building um, building the Polkadot ecosystem. So that is the Web3. And so this is, this is a pretty uh, cool news because... Um, all the data is from the legacy database, right? Um, <clears throat> you have to, uh, Chainlink is like a gateway. They pull the data from the legacy database, from the traditional uh, system, to, uh, and post it on the blockchain. So this is crucial to implement D5 decentralized finance system, all this uh, uh, financial data or a lot of information are in the legacy database need to be posted into the, uh, incorporated into the uh, blockchain as well. So, and this is an additional boost to the Polkadot project. And currently, Brazil is in the uh, Cosmo blockchain. So Cosmo blockchain, everybody knows, right? <clears throat> and Cosmo, of course, uh, is listed in the Coinbase as well. And so basically, this is uh, giving another boost about the uh, Oracle uh, network, uh, data uh, distribution network system. And, and the thing is... Um, so basically, this is like in addition to the uh, database provide additional uh, existing solution like Chainlink or Band, Brazil is additional because this is a distributed database uh, like, a, like a SQL Server. Uh, but those are SQL Server uh, are very centralized, right? Uh, uh, or Oracle database, they're centralized. So distributed database, this means it's a decentralized database uh, in different parts of the um, uh, computer, not in just one or two computer, because those will be subjected to the central point of failure. You don't want people to attack a centralized server and then uh, store all the data. So distributed does mean it distributes uh, to uh, different parts of the different different computer, not just one computer. <clears throat> so the team they're talking about, uh, they can uh, using the historical data that they can request on chain and then perform a, a statistic analysis on the pricing and also make the market and the price data more resilient to man manipulation uh, because the smart contract can use some historical data as a references uh, as a references on the uh, on the current price. I mean, uh, yes and no, but. Uh, you know, you can use historical data to a certain extent, but still, I mean, manipulation is still there. So, and Brussels, um, currently, uh, as I mentioned, are running on a Cosmo blockchain, and they can they they claim they can run ten thousand transactions per seconds, and of course, um, of course, this is a pretty cheap 
uh, alternative comparing to uh, Ethereum because the Ethereum gas price has been outrageous for the last uh, for the last I know ever since the D5 the those uh, yield farming and all that uh, fiasco the gas price has been like 300 gray 150 gray I think today is back to like 99 gray which is more acceptable level I mean like 300 gray is like how I don't know how much is like maybe over 100 or 200 bucks just to do one transactions this is insane <clears throat> And um, so this is basically a collaboration uh, with the Polkadot. So they are not, uh, of course, they are going to stay, remain in Cosmo blockchain, and they are going to build a bridge to the Polkadot as part of the, uh, as part of the, uh, you know, collaboration. So a lot of a lot of uh project they don't really join, they don't really uh per se join the Polkadot uh ecosystem. They just build a bridge or side chain to um communicate so that they can communicate with the Pol uh, Polkadot ecosystem. And so Brazil database articles will be available to all the projects building on the uh, Polkadot substrate um framework. Um right now the integration is pretty preliminary. Um so we'll see how it goes, and uh, this is pretty earlier stages. But the thing is, uh, more and more uh, projects are building a side side chain or building um, a bridge to the Google Log system, which is a good news because with more and more projects doing that, that means they have uh, hopefully more uh, actual usage because with a lot of uh, with more infrastructure behind this project. <clears throat> Of course, uh, Polkadot keep pushing heavily on the DeFi decentralized infrastructure on the chain, and Buzel is just an additional Oracle power uh, provider. Uh, just like Chainlink, they pull the data from the legacy database to the uh, blockchain ecosystem, and also the Ben protocol as well. And so uh, this is this is pretty promising. I mean, uh, you can see um, you can see a lot of like DeFi project already setting up shops in the Polkadot ecosystem, and also the liquid staking is also being tested on the Polkadot uh, ecosystem as well. I mean, the key uh, to Polkadot success of DeFi uh, relies on the bridges, uh, building bridges uh, to create uh, the Ethereum liquidity. That is uh, very Im important because. Uh, interoperability you can talk to multiple chain um, it's very important used to be back in 2017 uh, everybody have their own uh, blockchain Binance their Binance chain and then you have Ethereum you have Neo chain Neo blockchain and then you have different uh, Silica they have their own blockchain and also um, uh, Cosmos right and as well as um, <clears throat> chain they have their own blockchain as well and everybody have their own, doing their own thing. They are not talking to one another. I think uh, the key to success is, I think, is you have to be able to uh, interoperability, talking to a different blockchain. That is very important because I, um, nothing is exclusive. You got to have uh, more flexibility, and this is uh, this is very important. But the thing is, um, you will see how it goes uh, on all this thing because right now the Polkadot developer can got some like Oracle uh, provider with some historical data, which is a good thing because like you need all this data from the legacy database uh, to the uh, blockchain. And also if you have some historical data and you can more data, you can uh, run a program and also you can analyze those data as well, right? Just like AI, artificial intelligence, they, they, they need huge amount of data to run the AI ecosystem feeding on the neural uh, neural chain network right so that is basically just like ai so i think it's a good idea for this thing let me know what you think about the polka dot system and also brazil uh how it helps uh into the polka dot ecosystem it seems like uh the polka dot is the is the is is the is the 2020 uh is the is the darling for the 2020 uh, it looks like and uh you, of course you have uh tezos in 2017 right and then you have uh you have different like even neo in 2017 all seems all this project seems to be like going nowhere but uh <clears throat> but the thing is i like, you have um i talk about neo they are going to the so neo they're going to uh, launch their flamingo uh d5 ecosystem uh so you can check it out so they're going to launch this on september 23rd so you can start staking your token and start doing some yield farming i think and <laughs> Join the uh, D D five decentralized uh, movement, and if you have some, you have some new token. Uh, I mean, 
uh, I would give it a try. Not a financial advice, use your due diligence. I mean, the thing is, if NEO did not evolve in the DeFi decentralized system, the project is pretty uh, much dead to me, to be honest with you. But I will see how it goes. Let me know what you think. I mean, every uh, single day we have some uh, uh, shiny object coming out. You have Polkadot, you have some new coin, you have some new coin, on and on and on. So uh, at the bottom, at the, at the, the end of the day, you should... Uh, you should uh, do your own research to pick out the winner. I mean, it's, sometimes it's not easy to pick out a winner because everybody think they are, they are the next big thing and uh, a lot of projects doesn't last, right? Um, we'll see. <clears throat> Let me know what you think about this project and also the Brazil uh, collaboration. And are you going to uh, take part, uh, take part, uh, parte into the Flamingo uh, D5 in the NEO ecosystem? Uh, let me know, comment below. I would love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming video that could be time sensitive. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, library.tv, as well as Patreon. And uh, remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not your financial advisor, investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and uh, stock market can have inheritance with your due diligence. And uh, this video is only for entertainment and informational purposes, not a financial advice. You should consult with your financial planner and use your due diligence before you put uh, your money into any uh, financial instrument. Uh, do, do not put the money you cannot afford to lose. Peace out.